All right, so we decided now that we've had some time to lay down and kind of uh, decompress, we come up with some things that we learned about Norway. Uh, first thing we learned about Norway is people are very friendly. They were will totally willing to help us check into our place without even giving us the phone. Uh, they just made the phone call for us and they gave us uh, a history lesson on Sweden and Denmark and Norway at the bed and breakfast. Um, what else? So you, we met that French couple yeah. um, who was very nice. We met, your handwriting is atrocious. Uh, yeah. A uh, Jewish family, yeah, there's a Jewish family we met at Gelenga. We helped them do their laundry because it was Sabbath. Yeah, so they couldn't actually push the button on the washing machine because it was still Sabbath, so they needed someone else to do it for them, which sounds kind of funny, but <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Um, we met a Finnish motorcycling guy. He yes. was really friendly and looked like he came out of a cartoon. Yeah, and his whole, all his high school buddies and him were all going on a motorcycle trip. And so they said it made him feel younger. <laughs> and we met people from Azerbaijan, which is pretty amazing. We just yeah. chatted with them while waiting for the ferry. And we actually helped them get on the ferry the day before. And they said, different you know, ferry. Uh, different <laughs> ferry. Yeah. And they said, you know, we've seen you guys around Norway because we recognize this motorcycle with the red bags all strapped down with blue straps and saying it's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> so they, they, they saw us around Norway. So other than friendly people, we learned some things about Norway that are weird. like. We'd be out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, seriously, it would look like the moon. And people would just be walking on the side of the road. In like the middle of were, nowhere. Like they were going out for a stroll. Like, like where's your car? I mean, like, hours, where are you going? Hours from anywhere. It's freezing. It's really cold. And then people would be biking because people here are crazy. And we would be just yeah. freezing on our motorcycle because it was freezing. It was 40 something degrees. And they have, like, shorts. Yeah, shorts and a long sleeve shirt, no jacket, Shit. biking with all kinds of packs on their bicycles. And then we figured when the, whenever they got where they were going, they were going to have an ice cream. Because that seems to be what Norwegians do. Yeah. They maybe, eat a lot of ice cream. Maybe in a polar bear skin. Maybe. I have to say that Norway likes its sweets. Um, there is literally like a sweet factory store in every gas station. Like yeah. where you can like buy candy, tons, buy tons, a bucket. Tons of sweets. All right. Well, there was a lady with green hair. Yeah, she we didn't really crazy. understand that. Yeah. Corey was like, where are you going? She was on the side of the road walking in the middle of nowhere. Why is your hair green? <laughs> Literally, she said that. Um, no flip-flops here in Norway. You do not wear flip-flops. No, you got to wear a dress and a pair of running shoes that are brightly colored. Very brightly colored. All the running shoes are brightly colored. That's what everybody wears. Yeah. Which is why I was really excited when I found like a gray pair of running shoes <laughs> in Norway. Because I didn't want to The other option was bright pink. Yeah. I mean, like, not just pink, but like it hurts your eyes kind of pink. Landscape is always surprising. You, you want you just drive around and you look one direction. You're like, whoa, holy crap, look at that! Um, and just on the side of the road, you'll be driving around. All of a sudden, a massive waterfall just spraying mist all over the road. And it's something that would probably, you know, Californians would have to pay to go see in Yosemite or something. And here, it's just like you know, on the side of the road, yeah, just driving just, down the road. That's what we got. Or a bus followed by a lorry, followed by a van, followed by a dump truck. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. Um, and the weather. Um, so we looked at the weather and we were really excited because, you know, we saw it might be a little rainy for hey. a couple days and then it's like, Sunshine hey, the rest of the sunshine way. Sunshine the rest of the way. So what we decided, however, since we got rained on a lot, was that should the sun make an appearance for more than 30 seconds, Norwegians consider that a sunny day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sun will show up. It's a sunny day. <laughs> That doesn't mean it won't rain. Yeah. Um, sheep. The sheep, when you honk at them, they think you're weird. They just stand there and look at you like, what's wrong with you? Um, and the road signs. There's a lot of like animal road signs. Elk, moose, deer, you never see them. Yeah. But when you see a sheep sign or a cow sign, you will see a sheep or a cow next to their sign. Like, They'll be hanging like out. Next to the sign. They're like, this is our sign, so we're going to stand here. Yeah. They're like, I recognize the little picture. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. That's about it. I think that's about it. That's, that's what we learned in Norway. Go to Norway. It's, it's pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. See ya.